One of the more lesser known features of RetroArch on the Emulation Station system is they do have achievements that you can play towards. Now, if you're like me and you've got a bit of an addictive personality, then achievements are a definite go-to feature in this system because it just makes you want to play more and do more and do more and do more. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'll load up WrestleFest. Now, this game doesn't have any achievements attached to it, but you might have noticed in the bottom left-hand corner when it loads up after this, uh, after this introduction screen here, it loads up your joypads and also flash up a message saying no achievements available. They're a bit more prominent in this new update. There you go, this game has no achievements. Now, how do you know what games do have achievements? And how do you know what games you can go for these different achievements for? Well, I'm going to show you today how to do it. But you've got to do something first on your computer. So, we're going to go over to the laptop and I'm going to show you how to start your journey to get all the achievements that you want. So the website that we're going to use to register our interest in getting achievements is this one. So it's retroachievements.org and this is linked directly into the RetroArch system. So it, you need to register for account in here. So top right hand corner you want to create a new account and put your details in. And then once you log into this and get it all, this has got a list of every single game from every single emulator that it uses to be able to log achievements. So if you want to search for a game, so we're searching uh, S A M P S O N S. I couldn't press a button there for some reason. Uh, so we want to search, go search for the forum and everything like that. But if we go into achievements, if we go into commonly won achievements, I'm going to give you a list of the games here. It's a Super Mario World, so it's been awarded 28,000 times, and it's it gives you the description and what it is. And if you so shrooms Super Mario Bros, you click it. It'll load up what the achievement is. So find and collect a mushroom. Probably people get an achievement for that one. And a lot of the games do have achievements. There's odd ones that you'll find that don't. So if you click on Super Mario Brothers on the NES, every time you log into this, every time you log into your profile on the system, on the RK One Up machine, or any any system that runs RetroArch, it'll log you against all these kind of uh, achievements. See, you now you can see the ones highlighted, the ones that I've got. So I've got a, I've had a mushroom, I've had a firepower, I've had a, I've had a one up, I've gone to the top of the flagpole and I've, I've, I've found the hidden one up on stage one point one. But what I haven't got is find and collect a starman, collect fifty coins, uh, celebrating style. So finish a level to lots of fireworks. So what I'll do is when we'll play, we'll, we'll I'll show you how to attach your profile to the arcade one up machine or emulation station or retropie, whatever you want to call it, and then I'm going to attempt to get that achievement there. So finish a level to lots of fireworks. And if I do get that, I'll show you what it looks like when you get an achievement and Bob's your mother's brother. So when you register, get your details, get your username and password. Then we're going to go back over to the system now and I'm going to show you what you need to do next. So we're back over at the uh, Arcade One Up machine now. And this is how you configure your system to be able to do the achievement. So we're going to go into the RetroPie menu. Then you're going to go into RetroArch, and that's going to load up RetroArch without any ROMs in it. Something straightforward. So, in here, you need to go down to Settings, and press Enter. Down to the bottom, you're going to go to Achievements. And in here, you're going to make sure Achievement is set to 1. You're going to put your username and password in there. Uh, I just like this is just down to your personal preference and, and down the bottom it tells you what all these little bits and bobs do so it's up to you so hardcore mode means you can't use any rewind or fast forward or anything like that otherwise it won't let you uh, actually get the uh, get the achievements leaderboards uh, all this kind of stuff here uh, but I like them set up like that so then we're going to go back now the thing you need to remember what to do is go into your configuration file and save the current configuration okay then that's that saved it that's that retropie configuration saved so every time it loads up uh, the uh, the configuration it's got all your details saved in there so what we're going to do now is i'm going to go through and play again super mario brothers and then i'll show you what happens when the achievement pops up
see, I should see now an achievement pop in the bottom because I've got the six. There you go, top left hand corner. It's unlocked, achievement unlocked. Fantastic. You can also see on this menu here where the, what the actual achievements are that you can uh, go for. So if you go into the, into the menu button on RetroArch and go down to the bottom, if you go into achievements, it gives you a list of the achievements that you can actually go for and what you can do. You can also have a look, obviously, on the web page as well, if that's, if that's your bag. Well, there you go, guys. Something a little bit extra for you to go and work towards. Some more achievements for you to do. Hope you've liked that. If you want any more explanations how to do anything or something else to do with uh, RetroArch, Emulation Station, RetroPie, just give me a shout. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Noob Game Reviews.